way to hold a pick is make your hand a loose fist and then you place the pick on the first bend the crease in your finger like this and then you put your thumb down and it's almost like an under extension of your fingernail and then you turn it slightly more towards you and then the motion that you use to strum is a slight twist of the wrist and a slight twist of your forearm but your elbow and your the other part of your arm pretty much stays planted against your body while you're strumming a guitar and it's more like this way but we can still mimic that motion with brush strokes and you can practice um, strumming even without a guitar and just using a paintbrush so what you're going to do instead of holding it like you would a pencil or a paintbrush as you would, normally would you're actually going to hold the paintbrush like you would a pick like this so the brush is laying in the crease of your finger and you're making a loose fist and then you want your brush tilted so when you swipe it you twist it enough that it, the bristles come back out and flip around so this is not right if the bristles are pushing back in on themselves that kind of mimics what might be going wrong with your guitar strumming now in order for this to, to work properly you have to have the paper in your lap on a clipboard or something and then you're gonna make brush stroke widths the length pretty short length back and forth like this now depending on what you're playing this is about the length or the width of a ukulele but if you're playing guitar you're gonna have to have a wider strum about like that and see my arm is twisting just subtly here and here just like when I'm playing guitar it even helps if you tilt this down that way and you can fill up your whole piece of paper like that and you can do use different colors um, whatever you like and you can see the example where one of my students did these brush strokes all the way across her sheet of paper and then um, we did a marker drawing over top of it and it looked pretty cool so some a fun fun way to practice strumming without actually picking up an instrument thanks